In this tutorial, we will learn how to model a matrix or matrices and these two pillows using uh, geometry, simple geometries and 3ds max modifiers. So as you can see here, you see these curves and how the, uh, let's zoom out, how the matrix is responding to gravity here, to responding to uh, different forces. I, I didn't do these curves, these curvatures. I didn't do any of these. And same for these pillows. All of these can be uh, done using modifiers. So let's start with a new, a brand new file. And let's create first the matrices. Before I create the matrices, I need to create the base for the bed where everything will be put on. So I change my view to top view. I go to extended primitives from geometry and I use a chamfer box. And the reason I'm using a chamfer box, not a uh, regular box, let me snap toggle to uh, red. The reason I'm using chamfer box here is because uh, I want some curvature on the uh, edges. I, I guess this is fine. And then right click. Oops. Let's do them again. I, I believe this is fine. Then right click. Now let's change the uh, parameters. Let's make the lens 120 width. Oh, 100 is fine. Let's make it 90. Height will be um, something like 30. And the fillet value, let's make it 0 0.5. Maybe 1. 1 is good. I, I don't need to make any changes for uh, segments. I don't need more segments than the ones here because this is only the base for the uh, matrices. Now I would like to create the matrices. I will make it larger than this one. So if the length is 120, I make it 130. If the width is 90, I will make it um, something like 100. So I, I go back again to top view. I keep the snap toggle tool active. Go to geometry, standard primitive. Pick a plane and let's draw him just like that right click to deselect and let's change uh, or modify these 100 let's make it 140 for the lens and for the width or maybe more let's make it 150 so I can get this extra value here for the width let's make it 120 and for the segments we will raise it as much as we can so that's based on your uh, uh, device uh, capacity how how far can you uh, deal with 3ds max higher details 3ds max file i will make it 180 for length segments and same for width segments go back to perspective view and drag this guy up now this plane let's drag him uh, remove this snap toggle and drag him up so he can be dropped down. Now, before we add the modifier, which is M cloth modifier, we need to right click here and make this uh, these tools show up. How can we do this? We right click anywhere, something like here. Wait a minute, I need some somewhere empty. Okay, and from here, Mass FX toolbar. This is a toolbar we need it to be shown, and the tools inside it, we need them to uh, add this feature. So now we select this guy, and then we press on the t shirt uh, tool or the M cloth tool. I won't change any of the parameters, I will keep them all the same. But then I need to make this 
this body here rigid body so it can be static or it can uh, act like gravity when it touches the plane when it drops down so I select this box and from this drop down menu I pick the third option which is set selected as static rigid body okay we won't worry now about these uh, vertices we will solve this in another tutorial but now let's go back to the plane and I will press on this button here which is the play button or the live drag Z will give you the same uh, results so it can start to simulate we will wait until it drops down and of course it takes time based on uh, how far you segmented your uh, your uh, sheet so as you can see here it drops down and turns into a sheet by the effect of gravity and other forces okay I'm okay with this with this result so I press on this button to stop the simulation so I like it this is my sheet I like the curves in it I like how relaxing it looks like so now I right click oops I, I have to do it again it takes some time sorry okay now it's simulated like a sheet or a matrices I press this button right click convert to editable poly now I have this sheet or matrix I need to create the pillows so these uh, modifiers mix file uh, work slower so I need to hide what I have right now until I create the pillows so from here from layers I open the layer explorer and it opens here we need to make it larger so you can see him okay so this is the layers explorer and as you can see this is the default layer we have the chamfer box which is the bed and the plane of course you can change its name but for now let's fold this up and create another layer and we can call this one pillow or pillows and we need to drag it down or drag this plane up to the default layer then we fold it and make it press this eye icon so make it invisible now I create the pillows here and when I finish I will collect everything up so now from geometry I create a box and I prefer to change the top view don't worry about the parameters we can change it later let's go back to perspective and change him uh, let's make him for length let's make this guy something like 35 for the the widths it must be half the bed the bed was 120 I believe so this one width will be 50 or maybe 55 55 and the height let's make it 15 segments oh we can reduce the height because I don't want to make too much of editing so let's make the height 
0.1 so it can pumps up without making any other modeling let's change the lens segments let's make it uh, 70 width let's make it 72 and nothing for height now from modifier list let's open it and let's pick the cloth modifier okay now let's drop it go down so we can change the gravity value right click on it to make it zero so it, it don't drop down we don't want it to move and go up again go to object properties select the box choose cloth and here you can find the types of clothes we pick cotton and we change the value of pressure this is the only value we'll change it for now let's make the value of pressure something like 15 or maybe 12 then press ok and press simulate local as you can see it start to go up like a pillow and we will leave it until it looks like a pillow you can skip these few seconds of, uh, of the video until the end of it until we finish this, uh, this process I can pause it now I have the, the pillow I can go back to layer view and make that other layer visible so I got both layers let's go to top view and drag this guy up drag him push him here like this and he needs to be smaller a bit and I can rotate him maybe I can copy him first and then rotate him uh, shift I need to activate the angle snap tool first and shift to 180 and make a copy let's push them push this guy like that and take this guy only the pillow and let's make him rotated just to make some change with the, the scene wash him away same for this and as you can see it didn't copy the parameters so I need first to create it to convert it to editable body before I copy it so I will delete this guy and right click convert to editable body and then we shift rotate him okay and push this guy to the right now I need to go to front view select both below using control and push them on the bed make them side by side now in perspective view that's what we get of course you can change parameters like size you can rotate it so you can get the shape you would like to have let's push this and you can try to check other parameters in the cloth type you can change it to something like satin like uh, silk or any cashmere you'll find too many parameters available so that's it for this tutorial and let's go to another tutorial.